Back here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center on the campus of Grambling State University. This is the first of two games here at the Assembly Center. The women will, I should say the men will play coming up at around 2 o'clock at the conclusion of this game. 40-23 is the score. Grambling has moved it out to a 17-point lead, 205 remaining in the first half of play. a and trying to move the basketball around, cutting through the paint, and a steal here by Shakala Hill. Three on two here. Up for the shot. Good. That's Ariel Williams, her second bucket of the ball game. She now has four points, and it's now 42-23. to 23. The Lady Tigers now up on 18 points, and, boy, this is a back-and-forth ball game. It was 18-16 at one point, and the Lady Tigers have just stormed out to almost a 20-point lead. Oh, a near travel there by Bonner. Three-pointer on the way up, no good. And Monisha Neal with the basketball. Neal coming across the line, bounce pass inside, had Shakala Hill and it bounced off of her and comes away with, uh, Alabama comes away with the basketball. Shot up, no good, and coming with the rebound is Shakala Hill. Hill leading the team in rebounding for the Grambling Tigers. She's averaging about six and a half a game. Goes out of bounds off of Alabama. A&M gets the ball back. Coach Murray not happy with the uh, pass there. A&M making a couple substitutions, so we'll reset here for you. For A&M, Jamika Cobb, also Lauren McKee, Nigeria Jones, Aubriana Bonner, and Kanisha Tharp all in the contest. Tharp with the ball, tried to pounce it inside, and it's tipped away by Grambling. Nigeria Jones with the shot up and no good, and Jasmine Torian with the rebound. Now Shakala Hill will set the offense with 12 seconds remaining in the first half of play. 42-23. Two seconds left. And a turnover here by the Grambling Lady Tigers. Uh, 42-23 our score at halftime. We will take this timeout. Come back with second half action. 42-23. Grambling on top of Alabama A&M. We'll be right back here on GSU TV.
All right, welcome back here to the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center here on the campus of Grambling State University. The Lady Tigers are on top of Alabama A&M by the score of 42 to 23. <coughs> we'll get you the uh, starting lineups for the second half here momentarily. Let's first of all take a look at the numbers. First of all, for the Lady Tigers, led in scoring by Monisha Neal with 11 points. She was uh, two for four from the free throw line, four six from the field. Shkala Hill with 10 points on the afternoon six of seven from the free throw line on the rebounding side Monish Neal also led in the rebounding category she had six rebounds for the Alabama A&M Bulldogs they were led in scoring by Nigeria Jones she had six points Kanisha Tharp with five rebounds in the contest overall the Lady Bulldogs out rebounding Grambling 21 to 18 uh, especially on the offensive side 11 to 3 Lady Tigers 12 of 17 from the charity stripe while the Lady Bulldogs were 6 7 at the Super Line. Big number is what happened on the field. Graham was 13 of 22 from the field. The Lady Bulldogs were 8 of 22 from the field. Graham was 13 of 12 points off the turnovers. Lady Tigers ball to the game. Lady Tigers ball to the game. Oh, he should be all with the bucket. Oh, 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 oh. 24-23 the score now. Monisha Neal now with 13 points. And that shot up and good. Dotson with that basket. Thorp, I should say, with that basket. Court violation. Traveling violation. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Shot up no good for AM. Ball tipped around momentarily and brought under control by Jamaica Cobb. And a turnover. Picking the ball up for the Lady Tigers was Jeans. Shot up, no good. Oh, they're going to call an offensive foul. Foul on Grambling, and so the Lady Bulldogs will get the ball back. I was on Chicago Hill, her second person. Shot up no good. And Monisha Neal with the rebound. With the back of three on the way. Good. on for three. Torian out with eight points for the Lady Tigers. Shot up and no good by Cobb. Coming in the ball game now for Alabama a and Ashlyn Dotson. Shot up and good. Johnson with her first bucket of the contest. And it's now 47-27. Alabama a and putting that lead now back to 20. Shot up no good. Foul charge to Alabama a and &M. And that foul will be charged to Cobb. Second person. Oh. It will reset the shot clock. Dorian with the basketball, she'll drive, she and get the bucket. 
Five points here in the quarter. With the possession 35 remaining in this third quarter play, 49 27 is the score. Aubriana bon uh, Bonner coming into the ball game. Taking out Tierra Dart, the freshman guard from Sylacauga, Alabama. Free throw up and good. Six points now in the quarter for Jasmine Torian. 23 point lead, 50 27. Turnover there by the Lady Bulldogs and a foul coming up on Nigeria Jones. It's foul. Now Nigeria Jones comes out of the ball game and Deshauna Harper comes in. Jeans with the basketball now, right side, now back to Jasmine Torian. They'll step out on her because she's a three point threat. Now to Justice Coleman. Jeans now the basketball, the drive, goes up for the shot, no good, but she draws a foul. That foul will be on number 23, Deshauna Harper, second personal. 50 to 27 to score, Lady Tigers on top. Here in the first game of the Southwestern Athletic Conference season. A&M will travel to Jackson and play them on Wednesday while the Lady Tigers will host Alabama State on Wednesday. Next seven days will be extremely busy for the Lady Tigers. And that one comes off. One or two at the line for the Legion Geeks. James tries to go inside and get the ball. Let's see who the foul is going to be charged. It looks like AM. Oh, that foul is going to be on number 10, Lauren McKee. Folks going to be charged to Lanisha Jeans. That's her first personal. Shot up no good by McKee or by a car And Gramlin gets the ball back. Ooh, a nasty spill down the other end by Justice Coleman. Coleman gets up and it will be Alabama in and basketball. They came off the hustle there from the Lady Tigers. 51-27 now the score, 636 remaining here in the, in the uh, third quarter of play. Cross court pass. That's Deshaun Jones, Deshaun Harper, rather. And a turnover, and Lady Tigers get the ball back. Onisha Neal with the basketball. Gets it to Jasmine Torrey, and she travels with the basketball. Oh. 51-27 now the score. Grambling still on top. Cobb comes out of the ball game for Alabama A&M. And coming into the contest will be Courtney Eggleston. Inside pass to the big girl, that's going to be Donson. Shot is up no good in the rebound by Monisha Neal. Wrestles the ball away from a couple of a &M players. Gets the ball up the floor to Chicago Hill. Nice transition basketball, shot up and good by Justice Coleman. Great transition basketball as you see Coleman getting that shot. And it's now 53-27. And Monisha Neal gets the ball off the turnover. And a long pass is taken away by number 10, and that's Lauren McKee. Three-pointer blocked by Shekinah Hill. Now to Monisha Neal. Outlet pass to Justice Coleman. She goes in for the shot. Good. Justice Coleman with the ball. 55-27 timeout. Lady Bulldogs, 55-27 to score. As you see, some great transition basketball by the Lady Tigers. We'll take this one-minute timeout. One minute, we'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> 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 
I'm gonna stand over there for more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not taking no chances with this. But I thought about getting on the floor, but then I'm like, I'm not picking it up. Here's the shot. Oh! 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 
Now pumps it back out to Collins, three-pointer on the way. It's no good, ball tipped around. And coming away with it is Collins, with three fouls. Inside, and the bucket is up and good by Clark. The second bucket of the third quarter. And now, the third quarter of play. We'll take a 30-second timeout here. We'll be right back. Stay on the court, stay on the court. Stay on the court. Hey, why is it when we sub, we drop it off? We don't drop it off. We gotta stay up here. <laughs> <laughs>
Lady Tigers the ball out of bounds. Test one, two. Now, Alan, I'm trying to see if I can hear this online. I'm listening now. I'm listening on my phone. I'm not hearing anything, so I don't know what that is. Hold on. All right, back here, live action. The Grambling Lady Tigers on top, 68 to 42. 458 remaining here in the ball game. Monisha Neal out with the basketball. Here is the shot by Deja McKinney. Up good. Seventy-one forty-two. Now a twenty-nine point lead. Four twenty-eight remaining here in the ball game. A and M with the basketball. A and M right now is just so much offense for Grambling. So much depth. And the defense has been a little suffocating. Shot up and good on that time. 
uh, by number 23, Deshauna Harper. Apologize for technical difficulties, trying to get everything straight. And right back on the other side, Deja McKinney with the bucket. And it's now 73 to 44. 402 remaining here in this ball game. And then with the basketball, looking to just try to get inside and make something happen and make a stop on the other side. Foul coming up against the Grambling Lady Tigers. And going to the free throw line here for the AM Bulldogs will be uh, Jamika Cobb. Free throws up, no good. And in the ball game now for Alabama a and will be number one, Adriana, Adriana Bomber. She comes into the contest. 73-44, 350 remaining in the ball game. a and getting the rebound off of the missed free throw. Deshauna Harper now getting it over to Bonner. Bonner with the shot up, no good, off the rim. And there'll be a foul coming up against Alabama A&M. And Grambling will get the basketball. Looks like it'll be charged to number 35, Tharp. And that'll be four on her. Seventy-three forty-four. the score. 339 remaining here in the contest. And the Lady Tigers trying to get their first win in conference play. Moved to 4-8 on the season. 1-0 in the SWAC. Getting ready for Wednesday's tilt against Alabama A&M, or Alabama State, rather. Always a huge game playing Alabama State, one of the perennial favorites in the conference. And a turnover here by Grambling, and Bonner goes up and gets the bucket. 73-46 now the score, 315 remaining in the ball game. Grambling with the basketball, controlling. Monisha Neal, that's 13 points on the evening. Here is Deja McKinney, shot up and good. McKinney has been a strong presence for the Lady Tigers. Momentary stoppage of play. Momentary stoppage of play, and then there'll be a substitution in the ball game. Coming into the contest, Ashlyn Dodson, the freshman from St. Joseph's, Missouri. Dodson with a pass inside. Now three-pointer on the way, up no good. Ball tipped around after the missed shot, and Grambling comes away with it. And coming away with the basketball is Ariel Williams. Williams with the basketball, now looking to the right side. Williams now getting it to Jacqueline Jones. Jones back to Williams. And the ball is saved by Bonner. Out of bounds actually off of Bonner, and it will go back to Gramley with three seconds left on the shot clock. Now coming into the contest is DeRay Taylor. She will replace Deja McKinney. Three seconds left on the shot clock. 75-46, Grambling on top, 204 remaining in this ball game. Here's a shot up no good, and it's rebounded by Alabama A&M. Bonner with the basketball. And now a three-pointer on the way, up way off the mark by Lauren McKee, just trying to make something happen with 147 remaining, 75-46. Grambling with a dominating performance here. And again, coming up, the men's basketball game here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center. We'll have that game for you right here on GSU TV. 140 remaining in the ball game. D. Ray Taylor with the basketball. And a, is that going to be a foul coming up? Foul underneath, charged to Alabama A&M. And that's going to be charged to number two, Natalie Collins. That's her fourth personal. Collins with four, Bonner with three. 
as well as Harper. She also has three fouls. That free throw up and no good. One more free throw opportunity. Alexis Williams being told by Coach Freddie Murray to use her, use her legs. Seventy-six forty-six. Four points for Alexis Williams. Eleven points for Ariel Williams. All the starters out of the game for the Grambling Lady Tigers. And a turnover. Grambling gets control of the ball and then it's tipped out of the hands of a Grambling player by Bonner. Three-pointer on the way by Collins. It's up. It's no good. And the rebound by A&M. Collins another three-pointer. It's good. 76-49, now the score, 105 remaining in the ball game. Now under a minute, Grambling will move to 1-0 on the season. Alabama A&M 0-1 in conference play. Grambling will take on, and there's a potential steal by Bonner, it goes out of bounds. Coach Murray telling Jones that the defender is overplaying her to cut back door. Ariel Williams with the basketball now for the Lady Tigers. Williams will drive, shoot, and no good. Rebound and the putback is up and good by Alexis Williams. Six points in the ball game for Alexis Williams. 78-49 now the score. And in with the basketball. Three-pointer on the way. Up no good by number 23. And that's going to be Harper. Ball is on the floor, out of bounds off of Alabama a and and it will go back to the Grambling Lady Tigers with 25 seconds remaining in the ball game. A 1.4, I should say they can turn the shot clock off now because it's 25 seconds left in the game. And the Lady Tigers will hold it. Jones will just control it out on the uh, midcourt G, and that will do it. The Lady Tigers. There's Jones with the basketball, and now Bonner has a tie-up. Ariel Williams was trying to run the clock out and got it to Jones. And now three-pointer on the way, no good to try to close, close things out. 78-49 is our score. The Lady Tigers win the basketball game. We will take a two-minute timeout. When we come back, we'll have Coach Freddie Murray on with us to talk about the big win. We'll take this timeout. We'll be right back.
seemed to really try to battle you guys, but the second half was just no match. And m uh, is definitely, my hat's off to them. They have a, um, a, a real great team this year. They went out and brought 11 new players in. They finished the uh, non-conference season off in second place. Uh, we expected a battle from them early. One thing about them, they're like we were a couple years ago. They're real young, so we know that uh, with that youth, there's a lot of inexperience there. So we know we can just uh, stay on them uh, from start to finish that we'll kind of wear them down as the game went on. One of the things that you told your ladies, I know on the offensive end, is that A&M had a propensity to cheat and try to overplay the basketball, and you were telling them, you know, use what they're trying to give you. Exactly, exactly. It's, it's, it's a give and take. You got to watch You got to watch what, you, what you, the defender's trying to do with you. They want to overplay you, you beat them back door. They want to sag, you make them pay. And uh, so we're just trying to play great basketball right now. We uh, had a great non-conference schedule that got us prepared for conference, and we feel real good moving forward. And, you know, one of the things I was really impressed by is especially as you guys are pulling away, not allowing a lot of second-chance opportunities. Right, right, right. We went, we, went, we went into the season actually back in uh, November stressing defense, 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 and rebounding. Those are areas that we want to really get better at because we felt like those were the areas that we – we, we suffered with at the end of the season last year going into the tournament. So we're making a conscious effort to rebound the basketball and defend. And uh, we wanted to hold them under a certain mark, and we was able to do it tonight. When you look at some of the players, uh, especially Shakala Hill, you look at Monisha Neal, these are young ladies who stepped up, especially you know, uh, Monisha Hill. He, she really stepped up in the ball yeah, game. Yeah, Monisha Neal, uh, definitely. She's our floor general. I mean, she's our, she's our glue that holds us together. Hill is our floor general uh, with, with both of them. We're a lethal weapon uh, out, out, out on the basketball court. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hate to see Moni Chanel leave next year, but uh, hopefully we got some young players that's going to be able to come in and give us more uh, once she graduates. Well, Coach Murray, enjoy this one. You got Alabama State coming up, and it's a long stretch. This uh, first seven days of the conference yes, season, is. four games, and four it's always tough. Four seven days. Yeah, we're ready for it. Uh, school isn't in. Uh, we're not going to push them quite as hard. Uh, we kind of have been watching this, this stretch of the schedule uh, throughout the season, and we knew that uh, we needed to kind of monitor their minutes and monitor their conditioning. And I think we'll, we'll be ready for these four games. All right, Coach, thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. 78-49, the final score. We'll be back with the men's basketball game coming up in about uh, 25 minutes right here on GSU-TV.